Okay, let's get started. Thank you for joining. Uh, today's webinar is on our pre-engineered dynamometer test cells. Uh, it is our trademark Soundmaster Dyno test cells. Uh, a little bit about myself. My name is Carl Lee. I'm the National Sales Manager for Noise Barriers. Uh, I do have extensive noise and vibration background. Uh, I actually started the industry in aerospace. I was involved with uh, the fuel cell power systems for the space shuttle, if, if you're that old. And then I uh, went into automotive noise and vibration, um, designing exhaust uh, connectors, and then into some software with active noise canceling uh, two years prior to joining Noise Bears uh, as national sales manager. A little bit about what we'll be talking today over the next uh, 12 slides. I'll give you a, an overview of our modular panels um, and their performance. Uh, then we'll jump into the construction, our assembly techniques, some of the key components uh, that make noise barriers a preferred product, and then uh, applications. You know, you know, why do people buy our uh, enclosures? You know, where is it used? And then always uh, uh, a few case studies to show you some of our popular uh, dyno test room applications. So the mod panel, it is short for modular panel, as you would have guessed. Uh, these panels are easily assembled and disassembled to construct the walls and ceilings of the enclosures. It's really the key piece that uh, assembles um, uh, using H-joiners, uh, steel structures, to, to assemble them uh, um, on site. They are delivered in crates and assembled by a a uh, your your staff or we can provide um, uh, approved installers on our side. Uh, in this drawing on the upper right hand corner shows you five of our panels. Uh, four inch thick panels are pretty standard for us. However, we do make a two inch thick panel. Um, it's a 22 gauge perforated skin on the inner and a 14 gauge skin on the outer. And we have configurations where they're perforated on the inside or hard on the inside, which is designated by the acronym HP. Hard on the outside, P is perf on the inside. And this two inch panel has a SDC rating of 38. And as you can see, as we go up to an SDC of 52, it all has to do with the density of the uh, rock wool insulation inside. As you know, you add mass, you increase the attenuation capabilities. Uh, down below is a cross-sectional view of a typical four-inch thick panel. You can see that we use the rock wool or fiberglass insulation in between. This is the perforated skin below on the, on the inside of the room to allow noise and pressure waves to be absorbed. And then on the outside, we also have a solid skin. Uh, we do indoor or outdoor applications. Some of the performance data on our quad mod, mod panels, as far as STC value, as we mentioned before, two inch thick panels, an STC of 38, all the way up to 59 on a hard, hard, hard being not perforated on the inside, four inch thick panel. And some of our NRC coefficients as high as 1.05 on a four inch thick panel or HP44. So how does it all go together? I think the best way to depict this is to show you a uh, CAD model um, showing all the components. As you can see here, this is this is the floor channel that gets secured down to your concrete floor. Um, as you can see, we do uh, also design acoustic doors, acoustic windows. These are the exact these are the mod panels I was referring to, and in between the mod panels are the H joiners that are used to assemble the panels together. Click on it, you should get a dynamic rotation so you can see some of the components that go into constructing our dyno enclosures. Again, these are all custom, so what you're seeing here is a smaller version, but uh, everything we do is custom and nothing is very standard. The only thing standard is the panels. So, how does it assemble? Let's get a little bit more into that. Uh, some of the key features of the dy dyno test cell are how we assemble it using self-capping screws. Um, you can see in this depiction, this is the horizontal detail of the roof-to-wall connection. 
and in between the panels, we, we will put a, a, a layer of RTV to provide you with 100% seal. Uh, silencers are another major component that we design into the dynamometer test cells. Uh, these will allow the inlet and outlet flow of air inside the enclosure. If you're testing an engine or a chassis, an entire automobile, you do have certain flow requirements so that you don't have temperature increases as well as exhaust removing harmful exhaust. Um, and how we view that, we also specify uh, tube axial fans. So these could be uh, internally mounted on the floor inside the enclosure, or we can put them on the roof. So again, everything's custom depending on your floor, floor space availability. We can design, design around that. So why would you need a soundproof dyno room? Here are the top eight reasons why. Uh, facilitates more accurate testing, uh, especially when you're doing multiple engines and also entire chassis. Uh, oil, fuel, projectile, and blast resistant. Well, because it's an enclosure, you can take the occupants outside of the room. It protects you from any type of catastrophic, catastrophic failure that you might incur with your test equipment. Um, there are custom solutions for larger vehicles. We do do uh, large um, construction equipment all the way down to just uh, motorcycles themselves. Again, I mentioned indoor and outdoor models. Uh, easier to build than a conventional construction. As you can see, it's modular. It comes on pallets. It can be easiest easily assembled with a couple of people. Um, and it's a predictable and guaranteed noise reduction if you know the noise levels that you're generating from your test equipment. Again, custom designs and also provides uniform test environment that duplicates as run conditions as far as on-track testing versus bench scale testing. So our most common applications that I see that I quote on on a daily basis is for engine, and with the popularity of electric engines, electric cars in the industry now, also for electric electric dynamometer testing. Uh, full chassis testing has always been a staple for us the last 20 years. Gas turbine testing is relatively new for a lot of aerospace applications. And then also motorcycle testing as some of our clients in the past have been people like Harley Davidson and Honda. So I'd like to talk about uh, three of the popular applications, the first one being the chassis dynamometer enclosure. Um, in this picture you see here, uh, this is about a 10 foot tall, 16 feet wide, 24 foot long enclosure. Uh, we do custom sizes, as I said before. I do want to point out that we can paint to any RAL color. In this case, with this customer Dynajet, um, this is a RAL white color um, and Really, the sky's the limit as to the customization of uh, how you want your cell to look. The second most popular is uh, the pure engine dynamometer testing. In this enclosure, you can see here, um, they are using multiple engines at the same time, which is why we have one, two, three, four, five, six exhaust buttons. Um, so custom design again, here's your inlet, here's your outlet, here are your acoustic windows from viewing from the outside and acoustic doors as well. I'd like to point out that these doors have a adjustable seal at the bottom, so there really isn't a threshold requirement. This is as long as you have a flat, smooth surface on that concrete. And then on the right picture here, I am depicting we do custom wall penetrations, in this case, this engine dyno. If you're pulling air from the outside, we can do a custom size there, and as well as some of the other peripheral uh, devices that we can include in the proposal, LED lights, um, electrical rough ends, switches, muffin fans, tube axial fans, as I mentioned before. So anything that your cell might require so you have a plug and play uh, solution, we can provide for you. And the last case study, we see a lot of applications for motorcycles. In this case, uh, this is a Harley Davidson um, specific enclosure. Here's your inlet silencer, your outlet, custom double doors for rolling, making room for you to roll in a, a motorcycle nice and easy. And then uh, here's an interior view of uh, the actual dynamometer that's uh, recessed into the floor. And some of the other custom features here as far as uh, ground mounted inlet, acoustic window again. And again, these are uh, larger double leaf acoustic doors.
Thank you for joining today. If you have any questions, we can get more in depth with some of our products and the designs. Um, any type of uh, design envelopes you might want to present to me, I'd be happy to draw up a proposal for you. Uh, my contact information is here on the slide, Haley at noisebearish.com or reach me directly at 847-544-6369. Thank you and have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you.